So real quick before I show you how to do this, um, when I did it, I just bought a big piece of fabric and I'll leave links where you can buy all this stuff. I got that on eBay as well. And what you wanna do is order little sample squares of like a few different colors first, unless you just have like a black color. But if you have the beige or the gray, you're gonna to wanna to order samples of a few different squares get them find the one that actually looks right and then order that or if they don't look right just order some you know like different grays or whatever color it is from a different seller it is a bunch of fabric sellers <clears throat> but another way you can do it besides just buying the sheet of fabric is you can order these pre-made ones that are already stitched and they have two different things here because as you'll see when i do it the hard part is not getting uh, wrinkles in this part when you're doing it if you just use uh, one piece of fabric so i'm pretty sure this would eliminate that and also if you do end up ordering these pre-made ones i would ask the seller that you're buying those from if they have also the pre-made fabric for the center one if you want to do that too because it would kind of suck to buy those <clears throat> and then have different fabric for the center one and not have them match whereas obviously if you just get one sheet of fabric you know they're all going to match perfectly and but just before you get into this though even if you do buy these you're going to want to get a heavy duty stapler like one of these things because then you'll be able to staple the fabric down on the edges and it'll just make it way easier it's like oh, super it's way too hard to do without the stapler all right you're going to need some type of headliner adhesive or like a spray adhesive i use a headliner adhesive but as you can i'll show you later in the video on the center console it's kind of started lifting up uh, i found on here they have this gorilla glue just spray adhesive because any type of like spray adhesive will work i would probably try this stuff it's probably really strong as like the other gorilla glue stuff that i've used I also use some Gorilla Glue epoxy and kind of put it around certain parts under the fabric where it might lift up in the future. And then also, uh, I would not go ahead and try to do both of the side, ar the side armrests at the same time. The reason is because this is really tricky. It's hard to do. So I would just recommend doing one first, and then when you figure out how to do that well, then do the other one. So I'm going to be attempting to replace the fabric on the armrest here because it looks kind of crappy. Like I did with the center one, I used this uh, fake leather, I think it's made out of vinyl. I ordered the fabric on eBay, I'll leave a link. Um, basically what you want to do is order a few really small samples first, out of ones that look similar to the color in your car, and then just test them out and then order the one that you like. But it's pretty cheap, you can just get like a whole roll of it, like a yard or whatever, you don't need much. So basically the first thing you need to do is just take the door panel off the car. It's really easy. There's already another good video on it, so I'm not going to go into in depth, but you remove the little uh, thing here. There's one screw in the middle. It'll just come right out after you remove the screw. This thing here, you just pry up. Like when, It's good to use one of these plastic pry bars. They work really well. You can just pry this thing up around the edges. It'll pop off, and then you need to remove... Uh, these things or you can just even leave it on really then there's this thing here you just pry it off starting from the top it'll pop off there's just a clip there and then this clip there oh yeah and there's also this piece behind the door panel or the the handle you just pull the handle out and then just poke a little screwdriver along the edge there it'll pop right out and then there'll be one screw right there you gotta remove and then what you do is just pry the whole door panel off. It's easiest to start around here with a pry bar. It'll pop out and it just has like these same clips all around it. And then there'll be a lip on the edge right here. You just lift it up off of this and then it'll come off. And unfortunately the thing holding on this armrest here is pretty lame. It just has this plastic that's kind of splayed out around this and here I removed the plastic so you can see what it looks like when you remove it and I just took a flathead screwdriver and just kind of pried under the plastic and just pulled it off it breaks off really easily until it's like that so there's just three on the top and three on the bottom it looks like and I'm just gonna leave the door panel just hanging like this while I do it but if you want to completely remove it you just have to remove uh, this here that goes to that light and this one here, we gotta take it off. 
You have to push down. There's a tab right here. Push on it really hard. Yeah, so this outer part slides out like this. It's like a separate piece. Now you can see that there's this outer part that slides out like that. So now after you break all the plastic off, it'll pull back that way. Might have to like kind of pull on it kind of hard and just pop it off. So now what you want to do is just peel all the old fabric off. It's probably going to leave some of that uh, the foam padding crap on it. You kind of want to remove that so when you put the new fabric on it looks even because it might have like lumps over like over this part. Easiest way is probably just to take up some type of like metal scraper and just scrape it off. I actually found it worked better is to take like an old credit card. You could also try using like a solvent like acetone to remove it, but I have a feeling if you use a solvent it might end up melting the plastic too and just making a mess. So I would just scrape it off like this. It's really not that hard. So then obviously the next thing you want to do is cut out a piece of your new fabric. It's about the same size as this, but I would make it slightly bigger. Just like add a centimeter around each edge, at least a centimeter. Just to make it easier, make it so you don't run out of a little bit of fabric on the edges. And the hard parts to get to stay down can be the edges sometimes. So the easiest way is just trace around it. Make sure you have both pieces facing the same way. Because I actually had it upside down. And then this one right side up, and then it made the shape of it reversed. <laughs> and you're going to want to get uh, some headliner adhesive, or just some kind of spray adhesive will probably work too. And then I'm uh, the piece I did on the center console, the center armrest, after I did it, the edges were coming up. So I'd recommend just taking, uh, I like to use this stuff, this two-part girl epoxy, and just putting it around like the edges here and around like the very edges, like here, just to make sure that it completely stays down and doesn't start to lift up at all. And like even on this piece here, you can see right here, it started to lift up, which is really annoying. So even on like weird spots like that, I'd recommend just putting down that epoxy or something stronger than the spray adhesive to make sure it doesn't come, start popping up. So next you just wanna cover it the whole thing. With the spray adhesive. And you want to let it dry for a little bit until it's like really sticky. Like right now it just feels wet. So it'll stay in the direction. You want to wait about five minutes until it's like feels really sticky. And then you want to put the fabric on. I'd probably recommend spraying. You might even want to let it dry a bit and then do two coats. Remember you're spraying this and the back of the fabric before you put it on. So this is actually my second attempt and I actually thought of just using a staple gun around the edge there because really it's really tricky to get the corner here without like really big wrinkles in it and you have to pull it like really really tight and like right around here you can see there's a little bit of wrinkles but I don't think that'll look too bad really it'll look a lot better than it did before anyway and it'll match my center rest <clears throat> I think so I found on eBay there are like fake leather pieces or they're probably fake leather they might have real ones too i'll leave a link that you can get they have they're like stitched around the corner here so it's like two different pieces so it's shaped right so you probably wouldn't have to worry about the wrinkles it'd be a lot easier but uh i don't think you can get them with the center rest fabric so you know the fabric wouldn't match so i want to do it like this <clears throat> Yeah, this part is really tricky, so you just want to spray it down with the headliner adhesive and then really just stretch it over and just put a ton of staples all around it. And I put them all around the back there. Probably the sides that are sticking out here, either like just, you can press them down or I might just cut them with like a pair of snips. And you, you're going to want to use like a type of like heavy duty stapler like this. And I'd say you definitely want to, rec I would recommend making this part kind of extra, a little bit big, especially that corner here that's right across from this. And then, yeah, you might as well, you know, make sure you have at least an extra centimeter length on all this. Because you can always just, after you staple it and everything, then it's a lot easier to cut it afterwards. But obviously, if you make it too short, you're going to screw yourself over and you're going to have to start over again. So I took the panel off the car to get this thing back on properly 
And what I think I'm going to do, and what I'm going to do is just put some little screws in there. I'll probably have to get some washers to put around first to make sure it holds that down. The main thing though is you want to make sure you get really short little screws because if you drill, too, if the screw goes too far through this thing, it's going to pop out the other side and poke holes in the, the other side of your panel where you don't want them. These screws here are actually really perfect. Eight by one and a half inch pan head Phillips and you want to get the self drilling ones. They are pretty much the right length and I, you want to get some washers like that. I would recommend stacking like two or three washers though because these screws are like just short enough kind of not to poke through the other side. It would be pretty easy to poke through the other side with these because they're like a tiny bit long. So I would just stay, yeah, just make sure you, I would be in the safe side, stack up two or three washers. Just get a bunch of washers like that that just fit around the screws. And then when you're putting this back in, uh, beware the staples there might get in the way of this thing. So I just took a flat head and just had to flatten down that staple because you don't want this to sit like too high or too low because the staples are running into this. And then before you put the panel back in, um, check to see if any of the clips got stuck in the door. If they're stuck in the door, you got to take them out and then put them back. They just slide into these things like that. So do that before you put the panel on. The easiest way to get them out is just with a trim removal tool like this one. You can get under it like that. And then when you're putting it back on, you just want to hang this over that lip or the, on the metal part of the door first. And then you can go around and line up all those clips and just smack the door on around the edges. It's really weird. So when you're putting it back in, you have to make sure that this thing is out like that when you're putting it back in also. It won't go in. Another little pro tip. The screw, that rusty, nasty looking one, was in there and those always bother me it's the same as the screw that goes back in there so what I decided to do was just swap the screws and then put the nasty rusty one back there where it's gonna get covered up and you can't see it everything else you just push back into the plate into place this thing this thing you just tap it down the speaker came out uh, it has these little clips here you just push it down and then this part faces up towards the top there and then this part here, I'm pretty sure I could probably get it to just slide it down over this clip without actually taking that out. And yeah, I was able to just slide it down onto the clip, leave it in the door, and then just push that part down. Just make sure that thing that goes in there lines up right. And I think that looks pretty nice. Matches the center console perfectly. I just got to do the other one now. As you can see, it is a little wrinkled there, but I don't think it looks that bad at all. And I don't know, it almost sort of gives it like a leather look even more. 